The strike by Hollywood's Actors Union is finally officially over with word that members voted to ratify the deal reached with studios that ended their four-month strike. The 78% approval from the members of the Screen Actors Guild, American Federation of Television and Radio Artists, was no certainty because some prominent members had still voiced dissent on the deal. Joining us now to discuss the end of the actor strike is Bobby Del Rio, host of The Daily Drop here on the News Forum. Bobby, thank you very much for joining us today. Thanks for having me, David. So what exactly were SAG's demands here in the bargaining process? What were the major pieces at play? Uh, okay, so my disclaimer is I am not a SAG member. I am an actor member uh, for, for 25 years, um, but I have been in Los Angeles for the last eight months, boots on the ground, so I'm pretty familiar. Uh, I will say the, the biggest uh, points of contention uh, were AI protections, uh, which e even though now the agreement has moved forward and been ratified, is, is still a very contentious issue amongst actors. Um, and also like the sort of complicated streamer pay structure. Uh, so as as the sort of Hollywood economy uh, has pivoted to, to, to streamers really being in, in the center of, of most mainstream uh, viewers, it's really changed the way actors have been compensated, especially with residuals. Um, so, so those are really the two uh, big points that people were, were fighting over. And where exactly did we end up? What did, do we know what the terms of the final agreement are? Are those public? Um, okay, so it's a very, very, very long agreement. Um, in fact, during the ratification process, so after the agreement was reached, the like membership still had to vote on it. Uh, and that was also a bit of an issue because uh, so I hadn't actually released the entire agreement to everyone. Um, and so then they sort of did at the end, but then who wants to read 150 plus pages or whatever it is of legalese. So I think people know the broad strokes. They don't know um, necessarily the intricate details, but that's pretty common, right? For, for unions, it's like, you, you know, you trust your leadership um, to, to make the best deal. They'll outline the deal terms, but even today, uh, I was just reading that, that SAG plans to have some sort of outreach efforts with regard to education for its members so they can sort of clearly explain some of the finer points. It's been noted that some prominent uh, actors were still not happy with the deal. Do we have any idea of who those members were or what some of their objections were? Um, okay, look, I'm an actor, so I can make this joke, but how many actors is, does it take to screw in a light bulb? A hundred. When to do Very it good in question. 99. I could do that. Uh, so, look, there's, you're never going to make it a deal that's going to satisfy absolutely every single person. Um, also, you know, actors, we're, we're sort of like like professional personalities. So, you know, you've got lots and lots of different opinions about everything under the sun. Um, I, I don't think it matters so much about who says this or who says that. I will say the biggest critic generally for AI um, amongst the acting community right now is, is probably Justine Bateman. Um, and she was, but she's been very critical of AI protections and rightly so for like the last year or so. Um, you, you're never gonna satisfy everybody. I do think it's important to have critics so that people can debate um, you know, with as much knowledge as possible but there's never going to be an agreement where everyone's going to be happy. We have about uh, a minute left here. We know that the strike put a significant dent in production timelines. Do we have any estimate on how long uh, the strike has delayed major project uh, productions? When are, when are boots going to hit the ground again in terms of making films? Um, so I keep hearing February. So obviously some things are happening. Um, but also there's been a stockpile of, uh, you know, sort of productions ready to go. And, and so in terms of new productions, new work, because, um, you know, I'm still here in L.A. and there's still, I mean, most people still aren't working, right? I keep hearing February, um, but it doesn't really know. I was also hearing March, even as far as London, England, they're impacted. My friend is one of the top location people in London and nobody's working there, but but 
right now people are looking at February. Well, thank you very much, Bobby, for walking us uh, through this. Uh, we very much appreciate your time. Thank you for having me.